We ready to play yeah, a team? Got up. All right, we're going. We're going to play a little Sally Johnson. We're not going to play it real fast. So if you want to play along at home, we Good hope luck. you will. Yeah. <laughs> folks so uh, I hope that uh, y'all will be uh, playing along at home and uh, what, what are we doing like while we were playing the the green light uh -huh. was was going orange like it was peaking oh, oh maybe that's what's happening do we need to turn it down a bit just, i don't know what slightly. it would be though well, well, you could time. turn down the gain on the microphone just a tiny bit Okay. Okay. We'll try Jared that. knows more about this technology stuff than we do. He's the youngest. You know. <laughs> okay. Well, anyhow, what else we got on this list here? Why don't we play a little bit of Uncle Joe? I'll try to sing a little. Did you ever? I will. <laughs> you ever see the devil, Uncle Joe? <laughs> Thank you. 
This is like a real jam at home. I'm just playing out of tune. So. <laughs> Oh yeah, we we got our good friend here. Y'all y'all can't see him, but he's sitting over here in the corner, and uh, we have a, a real living legend with us tonight, actually, Chris Strakowitz over here. So it's very good to have Chris. I hadn't seen him for I don't know how many years it's been, uh, several. <laughs> yeah, So it's really good to see him. The problem is he hasn't changed it at all. And he, when he came in, he's like, where's Eddie? Where's Eddie? And I was sitting right there, and, and I, apparently I've changed a lot. So. <laughs> I've gained a few pounds, he said. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you look great, Chris, and it's, it's great to have you here. Um, let's see here. We'll try an, uh, an old uh, tune that comes down from Emmett Lundy, little uh, Evening Star Waltz. All right, you got that thing in tune yet? Uh, close enough. Close enough. All right, let's go. Pack you up in your suitcase and take you home. Oh right? my God! <laughs> we love to come out. I don't out think they, they check suitcases that big. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you ain't too big. You just oh, you're just right. Oh, we'll just buy you another seat. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on with us. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I might have everybody on the east on the west coast mad at us though if we did that. I'm I know they'll live. <laughs> 
Well, it's always fun to play a tune with Karen, and especially oh, yeah. a especially a good barn burner. And that's what we're going to do next is is a little bit of a leather britches. Mm. Yeah, that, that was a tune that was written a long time ago about the Harley Davidson motorcycle riders. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that? This is called fake lore. I gotta know. Fake lore. I don't know what. I think it was wrote about dried green beans, I think. My oh. granny used to make them, and they was awful good if you put them. You know, if you put country ham in anything, it's good, you know. So, uh, But anyways, that's a different story. We, we ain't giving cooking lessons. We're just going to play a little music. So. Yeah, we can give some eating lessons. <laughs> if you need to know anything about that. Uh, somebody last yeah. night called us the well-fed string band. Yeah, so. I know. <laughs> He'll live here again, Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I don't know who that is talking about. You know, I've got the perfect physique. And people talk about having six packs. Well, I've got the whole keg right pack, here. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. A little leather britches. <laughs> Didn't even tell people that we we are playing in G. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, did you notice? We're playing in G. We're playing in G. So mm -hmm. yeah, and it's just standard tune on a fiddle and banjo. So you know that you know this is a slow jam, right? Oh well, we're, no, we're, that, we're playing slow. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, we are. Huh? 
<laughs> we are for oh us. God. But, oh yeah, we're not got up the fiddler's convention speed yet, but we're getting there. Okay. You I keep you keep cranking it. that guitar up, and it's going to get better and better all, all the time. Okay. I thought you were going to say it's going to break in half. I'll then. tell you, the strings on that thing's already glowing. Yeah, I'm like the tips of my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Karen, uh, we really enjoyed playing with Karen. I'll, I'll just tell everybody that lives out here in the Bay Area that, uh, in my opinion, this this lady represents you guys out here so very well in so many ways, and we love her. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, we Karen is my she's my other from another mother, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. You ever heard that one? Yeah, yeah, something like that, yeah. Well, I've enjoyed so playing with you. I think we're just really been super fun locking in. And Jared, it's been just really fun playing with you. Totally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we drug Jared out, out from the bank there the other day at home. He likes to work a lot and everything. But uh, we talked him into coming, and we appreciate him coming out. And, Taking a day or two off of work. Everybody needs to take a day or two off once in a while, don't they, Karen? Definitely. Yeah. So, yeah, we appreciate Jared Boyd being out here with us. Oh, and uh, oh, uh, Let's see here. Let's let's play one for all the folks down in Franklin County. Dance all night with a bottle in my hand. Oh, Is gosh. that a good one? Yeah. <laughs> Should be dance all night with the mason jar in my hand. I love teaching that to the children. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I, I'll try to slow this one down just a little bit for all you that's uh, playing along. After about the fourth or fifth drink, it'll slow down. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a few more than that.
Slow singing songs, ain't it? Slow singing songs? Yeah, slow ones. I think so. All right, we're going to try Maybe one here. They said, uh, I've heard, I don't know if this is true, Chris might know, maybe, but I have heard that this next song was the most popular song during the Civil War on both the North and the South side. I that too. And they said there's a story that uh, I had a, an ancestor who got his arm blown off at the siege of Petersburg. And, uh, and they said that during the siege of Petersburg in Virginia that uh, every day at noon, this fellow would come out with, uh, I don't remember, it was some woodwind instrument, uh, some sort of a horn, and play this tune every day and that everybody would stop everything they were doing on both sides to listen because this song evoked such emotion for the soldiers that was fighting in the war on both sides. It's called Lorena. <clears throat> Thank you. 
tune that comes down from uh, I guess from Kyle Creed although I don't think he really he didn't write it or nothing apparently the uh, one of the band members that was playing with him Roscoe Russell at the guitar now the, Ros the guitar uh, is who what he played with with Kyle but Roscoe was married into the famous Melton family who play who made Delsimars you know and uh, Roscoe made Del it. Del <laughs> oh, Del well, we, you say, Del you know, tomato, tomato, whatever. You know, Dulcimar is what we always <laughs> I like call that it. better. It's, it sounds better, don't it? It sounds way better. Yeah, well, for but anyway. <laughs> I'd rather play a Dulcimar than a Dulcimar, wouldn't you? Yeah, but I'm now I'm thinking Dulcimar would be even better. <laughs> Dulcimar. Well, anyways, <laughs> Roscoe knew this tune, and he taught it to Kyle and they didn't know what he didn't know what the name of it was so they just decided to call it Roscoe since Roscoe was the one that knew the tune so that's what we call it now so pretty good old tune I think little Roscoe <laughs>
Yes, yes. Thank you, honey. Uh, we want to say a very special thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Maxine and Brendan who have worked so, so very hard to help us get this set up tonight. I I have no idea what all this stuff is, but, uh, and, but and, and thanks so much for finding us a nice place to stay. Uh, they have a lovely neighbor, Judy. Judy. Thank you, Judy. If you ever see this, we <laughs> love you. We love you. Thank you so much. So, uh, yeah. Hope Ma you can find everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've, we've tried to take good care of it. So. <laughs> Wherever it is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thank you, Maxine and Brendan. Everybody here knows and loves Maxine and Brendan. And uh, all right, yeah. So what else are we going to play here? Uh, this next tune is a tune that you know Bonnie and I play in a band called the New Ballard's Branch Bog Trotters. That's quite a mouthful, you know, uh, to say. And a lot most people at home just call us the Bog Trotters. So. And that, uh, of course, is a throwback to the original Bog Trotters, who won the very first Galax Fiddlers Convention in 1935. And here is the tune that they played in that contest called Who Broke the Lock on the Hen House Door? And you're going to be the I don't know, right? I don't know. Am I? <laughs> yes. Um, I don't know. Uh-oh. I used one out. Anyway, you can play this tune, too. You can Absolutely. You pretend like you're in Galax in 1935. Yeah, this is an easy tune. Uh, what is it, a two-chord tune, I think? We'll see. Uh, no, it, does, it does have a, a four every now and then. Oh, yeah, yeah. Three chords. I don't know that either. It's one of them fancy tunes. It's got three chords, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
song. Yeah, it was really foul. <laughs> that reminded me of an old joke I heard when I was a kid. We used to go up to uh, Blanche and Ellis Nichols' house in Independence, Virginia, every Tuesday night when I was growing up. My uncle would take me up there. And Blanche, she was a cat bird, you know, kind of like you. She reminded me a lot of you. <laughs> what? <laughs> and she always used to tell jokes all the time and sometimes she would take funny things on the back of her guitar little clippings out of newspapers and stuff and so, and when she catch you know nobody else looking like if i was looking she'd turn her guitar up and show me what it said and i remember one that said fart for good health you know <laughs> st stuff like that you know but she told a little joke she said that she went out to the hen house and her two little hens was sitting there talking to each other she said you know what they said I said, no. She said, I don't know. I can't repeat it. It was foul language. <laughs> <laughs> That's a corny joke. That right? is a corny joke. <laughs> That's a bad That's a joke. Bad. I, I like that joke. At least you can tell it, though. This is, a, this is another waltz here um, called the Isom Waltz. And the only thing I can figure out, Isom, I-S-O-M. Is a uh, it's a family name back back where we live, and so uh, what? Oh, shit. No, you're not. It'll be all right if you do. But it well, goes into a C I, real quick okay, somewhere. Okay, because I haven't. This one I have not heard. That's the four chord. Yeah, yeah. So you'll get it after that. And then the, the it, it changes keys on the second part. So the first part is just G C D, basically straight. You know, through that. And the second part is D and A. Not D and A like what we're made out of, okay. but D chord and A chord. Yeah. Okay, you got it. So, the Isom Waltz.
Well, let's see here. You don't know. Yeah, we know that's because. Um, how about the flat woods? Oh, the woods that are flat. Yeah. Well, this is a, this is a, a version of flat woods. It comes down from Emmett Lundy. Emmett didn't cross tune his fiddle, you know. So uh, it's not the same flat woods like. Tommy played it, yep. it, it. It is, but it ain't. It sounds pretty much the same, but it's a, it's not a cross tune version. It's just a standard tune version. So it's pretty easy, and it's a great dance tune. So we'll try a little bit of it. <laughs> for a while. We're going to do a little tuning here. <laughs> she keeps it well hidden. <laughs> well, we, I, I'm going to cross tune my fiddle. I'm going to raise my bass up to A. This big Oh, 
Justine, you get her? Yeah, I am. Okay, there we go. Let's play a little hell among the yearlings.
in California. We did I a know. Hollywood ending. <laughs> yep. All right. Lordy mercy. I always like to hear uh, Greg Hooven sing this next one. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Me and Greg kindly growed up together. He was about three years older than me. But we spent a lot of time around the same folks, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, God bless his heart. Uh, he's dead and gone. So, but I always love to hear him sing the Red Rockin' Chair. So we'll do this in memory of Greg Hooven. And y'all play along with us. Okay. So this is a two chord tune, mostly B, okay, and, B and B minor. <laughs> the minor, really? Yeah, yeah. Now, hold on, let me find that. That's kind of yeah, minor. yeah, that's it, yeah.
never sang of one. What do you think? Uh, I think we sang this one in the, in the concert, but that's okay. Yeah, We're going to do it again. Well, we had some we people who... We didn't sing the sweetest we kiss. Have. No, we oh, we didn't. No, no. Yeah, we that's true. We, I don't know what I'm thinking now. Well, whatever. We're going to sing one here. Bonnie's going to sing one called the, the Sweetest Gift, The Mother Smile. Y'all sing along. <laughs>
So we'll play you one here. Uh, this is Tommy Gerald used to sing oh, this. Who's that? Which? What, what? What? Oh my gosh! It's speaking of Tommy, oh, speaking of tell. Tommy Gerald, show and tell pro. We have something here to show everybody. Brendan's going to bring so it in. And they're so big, you can't miss them. My <laughs> wife and I, my wife Maxine and I came home from a two-week trip uh, last week, middle of last week, and there was a package waiting for us. And I opened it up, and it was a picture of Tommy Gerald wearing some overalls and uh, showing the sign that is next to his door, which is another whole story. And underneath that were Tommy's overalls. <laughs> Actual <laughs> overalls. Look at there. They've not even washed since the last wow. time you wore them. Well, we have Tommy's DNA here in this yeah. room. Is that what you're saying? You can clone him, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Maybe we you can can't just clone him somehow. Or <laughs> I'm not one of your little toys. I'm not one of your little toys. They don't even make these anymore. Blue Jim. Blue Jim. Look at that. With the, with the. Never heard of that. That is great. Suspenders. You thought this was a jam. Yeah. Well, actually, it's a clothing swap. Our friend Andy Cohn was given to. They were given to him by Tommy's family, and he just thought we should have them. Well, that, that's a wonderful oh gift. Woohoo! So that we want to make it one of my chuck liver? I mean, like, we'll, we'll set them right there in that okay. chair. Leave yeah. right and there. and oh. we'll, we'll dedicate this to Tommy's overhauls. <laughs> 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 a song that Tommy used to sing. <coughs> Little Boy, that took a long time to get to you in the mail. Oh, How long has he been dead? <laughs> All right, well, here we go, Tommy, a little stream of whiskey.
Hi, everybody. This is Maxine. Um, I'm not exactly sure what happened uh, and why they, their feed dropped. They're at a different location than where I'm running the meeting from. But uh, this is about the time that Eddie was going to be done. And uh, very soon, probably in about 10 minutes, uh, Richard Bowman and, and the Slate Mountain Ramblers are going to be uh, are going to be picking up the jam. So I'm just going to leave this uh, session open, but it will go quiet for 10 or 15 minutes and hope you come back. OK. Talk to you later. Thanks, Maxine. Wanted to say thank you too. You're back. Yay. We might be on. Oh, Chris. You are. Hey. All right. Thanks, Chris. I'm in on here. It's not a touch screen. All right. <laughs> that is the touch thing. You need me over there? Yeah, just to turn your Mac. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, the good thing is we got those going. Yeah. I'll tell you, that was so. I was just in the biggest trance. Right. <laughs> I'm still talking to you. I'm not. I know, but I need to communicate with you. Uh, I was, she's back in, but I don't know how to get her up on the stand. Change our socks. We had yeah. to go change our socks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. You got the headphones? Okay. She should be able to talk to you, but I can't hear her. Should we do that song again? Maybe Hi, Maxine. the last half of Ask, it. Well, you can ask her. How much you, of it? I how much of it anything. got through? Is Maxine talking? I can't hear it. I don't know. But <coughs> hmm. nothing. Can you hear any sound? You're fine. I just wasn't saying anything. Got it. Got it. Okay. All right. All right. I All think right. we're back on. Well, doggone it. Uh, our, our power button got knocked out somehow, and we, we didn't notice it till it was too late, but that's okay. We're going to finish this song, by golly. My God. In, in honor of Tommy's overhaul. I'll just oh, sing the I last two verses. Maxine, well, Does Maxine need something? I don't know. I can't hear anyone sing, her saying anything. 
Can you hear us, Maxine? Oh, okay. Thumbs up. okay. Good deal. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> not in front of Tommy Gerald's overhaul. So. Really? You might have to over, you would have to overhaul us. So we'll finish out with the little Sally Ann. I hope y'all have enjoyed it. And I'm sorry about our little technical difficulties, but you know, these things happen sometimes. It's just life, ain't it? And sometimes it's good and sometimes it stinks, but you just have to take it as it comes yeah. and do the best you can. And that's what we're all doing. And this uh, internet well, thing is life in the fast lane, I That's guess. right, that's right. At least that's what the, that's what we're trying to do. So, <laughs> anyways, we hope uh, hoping for better times ahead, and we hoping that we can uh, get everybody vaccinated so we can get back to more fun and regular times ahead. That would be great. So, if you're not vaccinated, please consider getting vaccinated. Uh, that's my plea to you. And we'll finish out a little Sally in here. <laughs>
Fantastic. Uh, hope you Thank enjoyed you it. So much. Thanks for everybody that had anything to do with the BOTMC this year, uh, especially Miss Susie. We love you and thank you for doing this and thank you for having us out here. Thanks and for coming, you guys. Hope everybody else has too. So, yeah. thank y'all so much. Great. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Karen, you can just leave the leave the meeting. You can leave the Zoom meeting when you're done. Everybody else? Um, are we off the air? You are not off the air yet, but you will be soon. Um, everybody else, we're, we're waiting for uh, Richard Bowman and the Slate Mountain Ramblers to, uh, to join uh, the, the session here and they'll be leading another hour or so of old time tunes so stay tuned everybody see you shortly Ivy, I see that you're connected there, but uh, I haven't seen you yet. So I hope you're gonna join us soon. I'm here. I'm just uh, doing some chores. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm tuned in and I didn't have the video on because, you know. Yeah, <laughs> okay. understood. But definitely here. Thank okay. you. Thank you for all you're doing. Sure. Let me uh, just, whenever you're ready, just get started. I told people to stand by.
All right. Just doing a little bit of a sound check right here. No. Is it blown? I can't hear you at all. Hang on a second. Oh, I'm, I was muted. That's why. Uh, yeah, your your uh, original sound is on. Wait turn, a second. You need original sound on. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out where you all are for audio. Hold on a second. Thinking of it, I'm gonna. Can you, can you say something? Me? Can you hear me? I never did hear Eddie while ago. Oh, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Uh, wait, I know we got this this little microphone here. Um, but I can't hear you at all. I'm sorry. I don't know why. I just spotlighted you. That's yeah. on YouTube. Yeah. Well, I know it's on it's on the uh, the worldwide internets, but I yeah, don't. No, I was just looking at it in the other room. Okay. For some reason, I don't have anything coming back to me. All right. So with a show of just um, a thumbs up or thumbs down, since we can't hear you. Um, that's good. Okay. Too loud? Too hot. Yeah. I, I can't see your hands, so I don't know. Oh, uh, um, sorry. Where am I? Or type. Too hot. Okay. Let me see if we can turn this down. Hang on. All right. I remember Richard's fiddle's going to be hotter than your banjo is. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Oh, and of course now the microphone just fell to the floor. Will you grab that, Barbara? Yeah, hang on. I'm oh, sorry. All right. I'm going to turn down the input volume on this Samsung microphone and see what we've got. So, wait a minute. Everything's tangled up, naturally. All right, wait, no, you take that this way. So where does this go, right here? I think she just had it clipped on, sort of like. Oh, it's not clipped, it's just. Just kind of stuck in there. Better. All right, let me turn it down just a little bit more. Yeah. Because the fiddle is loud. And then let's see what we got here. Okay, if if it if it's not looking good, shoot us a message and say, hey, it's too hot because I can't hear anything you're saying. So if you just do that or be like, no, 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 turn it down, then we'll do that. And Richard will be here directly and we'll play some music. So... Here we go. Right here. We're just going to play a while. Eddie and him just quit. Is that little block there supposed to be up to? Um, oh, right here in the middle? Yeah. I'll turn that off. I just had that up to switch the sound down. Oh, okay. I'm going to minimize it in case or we need to cut it back. You guys, if you don't want to do this, um, we're going to do it. We can have technical difficulties. No. Know? We're good. We're good. Well, Batman, you wanted to talk to him? <laughs> <laughs> don't we have a guitar picture somewhere? Uh, do you want to ask Eric to play with you? Or? Eric or Mark or both? Or who do you want, Pa? I think. Or maybe Mark wanted to play Mark some. Mark wanted to play. Mark. Mark. He wanted to play some. and uh, Maybe John. Hi, we're still working on it, guys. Oh. Right here. Right here. I, I won't sit next to you. Well, switch chairs or do something. 
You go right there. Have I got to be in the middle? Yes. Or right, slide that on over for whoever's over there. I don't mind no difference. That your turn. Help us out. Are you still alive? So I'll be at your. All right, is that all right? Your, yeah. All right. Can you put? Mm -hmm. Can you back up the computer without yeah. the sound changing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can back up the computer. Hang on. I'm Maxine. I'm here. Can you hear me? I'll, I'm going to mute myself now, but you make me a host, okay? Uh, okay. Uh, hang on a sec. Susie, I'm going to send you a message in the chat.
And the crowd is in a row. We, we got a great, we got a great audience here tonight. Uh, we, yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, let's play a little bit of uh, of uh, the regular old fortune. You know, all right. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> and the crowd went wild. <laughs> you want to slow it down and play yeah. a little bit of what, a daisy a day maybe? Oh, or? Yeah, whatever walk you got in mind. in front of anybody yet. How about a little bit of that um, chicken reel? Good gracious. <laughs> I guess that's the reason we ain't played it in front of nobody. <laughs> Thank you. 
that would go good with them. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> what else you want to do right there? That's okay. Hey, it's better than not. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, uh, could we do Richmond or? Oh, yeah, we could. Let's, let's do a little bit of Richmond. <laughs> Night walls, sure, that'd be okay. all right. Or you got or the kiss walls, either one. Or we'll maybe we'll do them both. Maybe. All right. Wednesday night walls. All right.
Thanks. <laughs> Does everybody know who everybody is? Yeah, should we tell everybody who sure. we all everybody are? Everybody is. All right. Well, where should we start? How about we start back here? Hi. Okay. And, <laughs> and this uh, a nice little woman who was keeping time and keeping me and Richard in line. Um, hey, me as well. Keeping me in line. And, uh, Barry as well. And um, mm. looking after Malin and uh, Marsha's mama. This is uh, Miss is Barbara Bowman, who's been hey! on hey! the And she's also a champion flatfoot dancer. Oh, my goodness. And uh, wearing the red cap. <laughs> Just so you can find him. I know. That's, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what you always it look for. In a crowd. In a crowd. And um, a fellow I've known since I first started playing music. I was just a teenager coming out to fiddlers' conventions, and Richard and Barbara were always incredibly welcoming to me and pretty much anybody else who who was interested in playing music and always wanting to share and and just uh, make you feel good playing music. And he's a great fiddler in the good Surrey County tradition, really becoming a I guess, as it were, the elder statesman in uh, of the day. Yeah. I'm the old guy now. <laughs> He's, um... Don't clap, Tony. Don't clap. <laughs> oh, it, used to be, it used to be we were the kids. I yeah, remember. I know, but I'm the old guy yeah, now. Yeah, okay. Met Steve yeah. Wish, who was sneaking out on our mo <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, he's been playing the fiddle now for uh, 48 years, 48 I believe. Years. This is uh, Richard Bowman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, uh... Barry, I'm not quite sure how to give you an introduction. Oh, Although yeah. I just, I just, we just met these folks a couple of days ago. They were coming down from, I think, the great state of Oregon, and yeah, you but came. You hear him talk. He's oh, not you, from but Oregon. I don't think you sound. I think you but must be from, from Far East Oregon. <laughs> yeah, I'm from a, uh, I'm from Canada actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, um, and they got a great duo. As, are you all married or? Yeah, we're married. Okay, you are. Yeah. Okay. With his wife. And, and that story uh, is on the West the Coast. Horse necks. That's right, the horse necks. And really play really really some great music yeah. and some. Yeah. I even heard an Esker Hutchins tune I know. in the show, which <laughs> made us feel like we were right at home. And that was just great. And filling in on guitar tonight and doing a fantastic job. Thanks, Ivy. And we're going to do a little bit of. Oh, oh, oh this oh. one. Well, go ahead. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm the one with the. Um, an old time record collecting problem and a um, <laughs> and a radio habit and I play old time music as well. I'm I'm Ivy Shepherd. Uh, <laughs> hey, yeah. hey. Yeah. All you can say about that is she's just addicted to music. <laughs> I told Pretty her much. I wish I had it's all about the addiction. The banjo and heard her first so I could <laughs> learn to get it right. Yeah. yeah. I've been playing the banjo for 20 years. Yeah. Let's, let's try a little bit of that rocking hand song. All right. Do that? Let's That's... do it. That'll be a slow down a little All bit right. more. We better play it now. All right. Moderate tempo now. <laughs>
way it is. I, I remember hearing, we were up at Galax one year, and you and uh, Jimmy Boyd were playing, yeah. and everybody laughed after every tune. And, yeah. and he said, wonder why people, he said that his youngins asked him, Daddy, why does everybody laugh after a yeah. tune? Yeah. And I he, think it's just. He said, because it's fun. It is <laughs> fun. Yeah. This is the most fun I can imagine having. Yeah. yeah. And I watch myself play anymore in the last year, a few years. Uh, I used to always watch the dancers. I never watched myself, but my mind wants to wander a little bit now, so I, I got to watch what I'm doing here. I'll liable to get come off on something else of playing, you know, and do anyway. Sometimes when oh, I've I got know. when I've got my eye on myself, I still do sometimes. But, but anyway, it's all fun. It's always good to have meet meet f friends that you know that plays this kind of music. Yeah, yeah. show sure is. Yeah, we just met this week and uh. Well, this weekend, it's not even been a week, has it? Yeah. No. Well, we've had some uh, nice chats sitting around the kitchen table. It's, it's, uh, it's not often at a festival you get to sit around the kitchen table. No, yeah. no. So yeah. I'm grateful for that. This is a mighty fine festival. Susie yeah. and Eric really are doing a tremendous job. Yeah. yeah. I, I, t I told him earlier, it's the only place I'd ever been in my in my 68 years, but... Uh, for the since I was 20 years old, we've been going and playing, or I have. I said this is the only place that I had ever been that I felt more like I was at home than it was home. Yeah. You know, I could yeah. go to the refrigerator and get me something to drink, or go to the kitchen and get me something to eat. You know, yeah. I, I feel comfortable about it. So, yeah. So it's really nice to meet folks like that. Yeah, it's pretty special. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What else yeah. you want to do right there? Uh, hmm. Do a crazy tune like Johnson Bowers. Oh or? yeah, we could do that one. <laughs>
Rose of Texas. Oh, yeah, Maybe. let's don't do that, that one. Yeah, let's bring on that one yesterday. Please don't do it again. <laughs> don't fall. Have you, got a, have you all got a workshop well, tomorrow? Right. Right. Yeah, we've got a workshop yeah. tomorrow. I broke a string on. I don't know if it's a. Uh, are they all on? Are they all uh, getting streamed? I believe so, or at the park in the morning. I think it's from 11 to 2 30 or something. 11 in the morning? Yeah. That's before breakfast, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> that might be before bedtime. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> it's like last night. It probably yeah. Yeah. Um, are y'all doing a fiddle? What, are you doing a guitar workshop? I'm doing a banjo workshop. Mm. And, uh, and Gabrielle, she's doing a fiddle workshop. She's doing two fiddle workshops, actually. A beginner one. And uh, what comes after beginner? Uh, in the middle. In the middle one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Um, and and I'm doing a beginner claw hammer banjo workshop as well. And then we'll all be, I think, picking some in the park. So yeah. we hope we'll see yeah. you there. We'll just be jamming. Anybody's welcome. Yeah. A little bit of Yellow Rose of all Texas. Right. <laughs> good to see old friends. Thanks for coming back, Keith. It's, it's such an honor. But there's a couple of tunes that uh, comes to mind. One of them is the Lonesome Road Blues. Oh, yeah. And the other one is Going to Get Some Corn. Oh, yeah. We'll just maybe do both of them. Do, do Lonesome Road Blues. Where is Paul? What do you mean, Paul?
let's do that and go and get some corn. All right. <laughs> to feed my baby on, some of the words. <laughs> about um, the tuning from my banjo workshop tomorrow. Probably, um, since it's a beginning workshop, we might just be in G, although A would be my preference if you've got a capo, but we can we can just in plan to be in G. And um, Richard, should we invite these other folks to come in and play? This is a big jam session. I'd, I'd like to. Tony, yeah. Mark, if y'all want to come join us. I don't know us. how long we're supposed to be on this. Yeah, we don't know how much longer we're supposed to play for you or if you've had enough of us or... <laughs> have to invite deaf, if you allow deaf senior citizens. Well, uh, if, if, you'll go, if you'll go get him, we'll let him play. <laughs> <laughs> you got your banjo and we're in D, we're in D Tony. Okay, they want the individual strings for banjo tuning. If you're going to be in the key of G from your low string, that's the one below the thumb string. That's thumb string to short string. So if you go from that one, it'll be D, G, B, D, and then your thumb string will be a G. Uh, could we play the kiss waltz? Yeah, let's try it. Uh, while Tommy's going to get his banjo and ever who else wants to come. There's no kissing involved, is there? No. No? Not right now. I like that. Too many lights in here. No. I see <laughs> two, three, four. I and Odell's ain't nearby. Five, so. or, six, <laughs> five or six lights in here. I don't think it will work.
a nice one. Well-tuned uh, story to play a long time ago, and we ain't played that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I know. Uh, we, we, I play a tune uh, that I learned from an 88 year old fiddle player from Floyd, Virginia. 40 years ago. Yeah, near where we live. And uh, he would come out along the Blue Ridge Parkway at uh, Mayberry Mill, and on Sunday afternoons, his little band would. They was called the Corn Cutters. And, uh, he played a tune called The Long-Tongued Woman. Mm -mm, look out now. And he, his wife's name was Hallie, and when he would get ready to play that tune, he would kind of raise up and look around to see where Hallie was and before he'd say, let's play The Long-Tongued Woman, you know, and he'd, he'd always say it real loud so she could hear it, <laughs> you know, just to be picking at her. But he was uh, 88 years old, and it does have words. I guess the way the the internet and stuff is anymore, I'm sure you could probably find out, you know, what the words was. But if I could sing, I wouldn't sing them. <laughs> so this is the way the tune goes. <laughs> Something about unplug that thing. <laughs> oh yeah, well they want us. They want us to go to bed. Um, um, 
something about a banjo with gut strings. Mm, I don't know. We'll we'll figure all that out tomorrow. One of the, no, not no, the very no. first tune, but the, one of the kind of first few tunes I learned was the wreck of the old 97. Me too. That and was the very first tune I learned how to fix. Yeah, and you don't hear <laughs> hardly anybody play it anymore. I think, uh, I think maybe the ragtime <laughs> Annie might have been kind of in the first one or two, but but the wreck of the old 97 was right there real close. So that's a little bit easier. Concert. That's one of the great. No, things. maybe it was here in the jam last night, and he called it another name. Uh, seemed to me like I had heard that before, but I had forgot about it. But when I learned it, it was I saw a man at the close of day. I know that's part of the words, but you know a lot of titles is part of the words of tunes. Yeah, I guess. G. B. Grayson mm -hmm. and Henry Wood. Or yeah, that's where he he mentioned that. Yeah. But he called it something else. But anyway, let's play that tune. Let's do it. Saw a man at the close of day. <laughs>
think about Bill for that one. Oh, yeah. Forever yeah. and ever. Yeah, he was a, a special person. Sure enough. Sure enough. What about a little bit of the Peacock Greg? All right. Ooh. Yeah. I, I've Girl. been known to play that and wreck it, but uh, you know, it ain't Bob me from keep trying to play it. I don't really think. A and D. Okay. So the head's on. <laughs> Face there. <laughs> what about a little, uh, a little bit of one of them Charlie Poo tunes, the Baltimore Fire? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's a great one. In fact, yeah. you somebody had requested you play a couple Charlie. Oh, okay. Poo tunes, so. Well.
Pretty, pretty Let's see, we got another. Up. Oh, everybody's saying thank you, and um, they're gonna have to sign off. So maybe we should play no, one more. No, we must be getting kicked. We must be getting kicked. We off. might be getting kicked off. So maybe we should do no. one more, and then we can play some more. Okay. Well, you know what? That one more is. It's just one person. There's 16 of us still here. Sorry, County. Thank y'all so much. One person left. Oh well. <clears throat> All right. <laughs>